My name is Nadine. I was born on October 31st, 1993. I was really, really boyish when I was a kid. I had a lot of dolls, but I didn't really play with them that much. I liked cars, so I would always play with my dad's Tamiya. I remember he even bought a racetrack for it. I thought it was cool. I liked being outside, so every time my parents would ask me to buy something from the Sari Sari store, I'd be so happy, because that would mean riding my bike had a group of friends that I hung out with and we would always play games like Patentero, Tagotaguan, Habulan, Chinese Garter, Dr. Kwak Kwak. Those were the best. I also loved computer games. So I remember at one point I stopped hanging out with my friends because I would never stop playing. We had a pond at home, and that pond would always be full of tadpoles. <laughs> I would pick them up and observe, and <laughs> I liked it when you can see the tiny little legs popping out of the side of their bodies. When you're a kid, you're just curious about everything. When I was in school, my classmates and I would do a contest on whoever can swing the highest. I was really scared of ghosts. That's one of the things that terrified me the most. I always thought that our house was haunted for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. My dad had these rubber masks that he would use to scare people. He did a mean prank on me one time. He pulled me into our garage, there were no lights, and <laughs> pretended that he was talking to someone or something that, that I couldn't see. I was so mad at him after that, I didn't talk to him for the rest of the night. I never liked staying put in, <laughs> in one spot. I'm always running around. I had a best friend that I used to talk to a lot. It's a caterpillar stuffed toy. It's really cute. Her name is Kathy. I still have her until now, but I don't talk to her anymore. <laughs> I would bring her everywhere because I couldn't sleep without her. She knew all of my secrets. I would talk to her about everything. But now I just talk to myself. And I guess that's not a bad thing. I wanted to be many things. I wanted to be a manga artist because I'm such a huge anime girl. You know those how to draw manga books? Yeah, that's how I learned how to draw. <laughs> I wanted to be a voice actor just because of, again, anime. I had a phase when I wanted to be a painter, bought tons of canvas shoes, and I was painting little monsters and all of them. When I got my very first digital camera, I wanted to try photography. I'd go around the garden, go around the house, just to see what I can use for my photos. I took a lot. My fave subjects, trees, sky, ocean, yeah, <laughs> still the same. <laughs> my first gig ever. It was just my hands, and you can hear me singing 10 Little Indians. And by the end of it, all of my fingers would be taped. It was an ad that they show every New Year's to spread awareness on the dangers of fireworks. Shortly after that, I started hosting for a kids variety show that was named after a theme park. It's an actual theme park, so that's where we would shoot. We do all sorts of stuff, like 
playing games, singing, dancing. You get to go to the arcade, go on all of the rides. I met new friends. It was fun, so it didn't feel like I was working. Music was such a big part of my childhood. My mom listened to a lot of pop. My dad listens to... I don't even know what my dad listens to. <laughs> he listens to a lot of different genres. He has a huge collection of tapes and vinyls that's just sitting in our living room. I like to believe that I have good taste in music and it's all thanks to my parents. <laughs> it's never quiet in our house because there's always music playing. It would be playing from the TV, radio. I had a Walkman, so the music never stops. I love Britney Spears. I still listen to her music. I would watch her concert, Dream Within a Dream, at least five times a day. I was so inspired. I told myself I was gonna be like her when I grew up. I knew I loved performing, even when I was a little girl. And it was something that I've always wanted to do. But where I'm at now, it's not something that I, that I expected. I guess my parents saw a lot of potential in me, so they encouraged me to go out there and kind of, kind of show myself. I was really a Bebo kid. I was so frustrated when I was a teenager because I didn't go to high school, so I didn't get to experience that life. But eventually I got over it because I realized that what I'm doing is pretty amazing. So I just kept going and found myself in the middle of all of this. It's tough, but I know that this is my dream. So, had to go through it. Looking back though, I'm really grateful for all the ups and downs and all of the people I've come across. I understand that all of this had to happen for me to become this person. I'm still figuring a lot of things out, but I am liking where I'm at now and I'm happy with what I have. I can't wait for the rest of my life to unfold. <laughs> I don't know where this road is gonna take me, but one thing's for sure, the girl on your screen right now is loving every minute of this.